Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Nikkel Williams. We want to begin with the $2.8 million Governor Kay Ivey awarded to help Alabamians fight homelessness and the half million of it coming to Huntsville. Way 31's Nicole Zedek sat down with the city's manager of community development to hear more about the need for those funds. And Nicole, how large is the homeless population here in Huntsville? Well, we don't know the current population because data is kind of unknown right now. It's usually collected every January, but with COVID, it was difficult to get those accurate numbers in 2021. But this graph from the North Alabama Coalition for the Homeless does show those numbers. And as you can see, they've gradually been increasing over the past couple of years, and they're not expected to go down. The, uh the homeless population is growing based on now we're the largest city in the state of Alabama. As the manager of community development for the largest city in the state, Scott Irwin sees the homeless population growing along with the city. We have more homeless people coming to our community. Some are seeing our success and they, they get here and sometimes it isn't what they expected. He's hoping the $500,000 from this year's Emergency Solutions Grants program will provide assistance directly to those who need it. And solving the homeless is a complex issue, uh, but I do see it able to get more street outreach. The funds won't only help with street outreach. They'll also go towards shelters, homeless prevention, and one of the biggest needs, rapid rehousing. Literally every income segment is experiencing a housing shortage in Huntsville, uh, but some would argue it's most, mostly if most affecting those with the lowest income. Growing pains from a growing population, and those with the lowest income are often left behind. Our challenge is to make sure that uh, anyone who comes to Huntsville, you know, at least has the resources and the ability to move past the homeless circumstances. Since the North Alabama Coalition for the Homeless was unable to get accurate data from 2021, this upcoming point in time count, which looks at people experiencing homelessness on a single night in January, it'll be extra important in seeing how the population has grown and in turn what level of emergency solutions grants the city can expect next year. Reporting live in studio, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News.